Have you ever seen children running around the forecourt without their parents' supervision? Or customer using their mobile phone on the forecourt while making their way to the store? Or contractors using dangerous equipment to repair lighting? All these dangerous situations have resulted in previous accidents such as This accident could have all been prevented if we practice intervention. Intervention is a key component in Shell's golden rules and plays an important part in our quest to achieve goal zero. All it takes is a little effort and increased alertness to prevent any tragic accidents or damage from occurring. In this video, we present five case scenarios where intervention help to prevent possibly serious accidents. Such scenario may happen to you as well. So take a look and see how they can be appropriately handled. Yes, I need you to uh, sell some stocks for me. Good morning, sir. So sorry, but you cannot use your mobile phone at the Portland area. You can go to the store if you need to make a phone call. What? Why can't I use my mobile phone here? I mean, this is horrible service. Never mind, don't disturb me. Just fill in my car with a few safe 95 full tank link. I am sorry, sir, but as you can see, the safety signage indicates that using the mobile phone in the Portland area is not allowed as it is very dangerous. Okay, I really have no time for this and I need to settle the matter because it is very urgent. Sorry sir, in this case, I must stop refueling for safety concerns. This is really frustrating. You hang on a minute. Can you tell me what exactly is this safety concern of yours? Mobile phones, when in use, act as a potential source of ignition that may possibly cause fire and explosion. Especially in a flammable environment like this, Using handphone actually put your safety at risk. Also, being on the phone may get you distracted and cause you not to look out for the vehicle moving around the forecourt. Hmm, I can understand where you are coming from, but this call is really quite urgent. Sir, you can actually go to the store and continue your conversation. It is safer to use mobile phone there. Okay, actually, thank you for telling me the rationale behind the rules. You're welcome. I'll call you back. And thank you, sir, for your understanding. I will help you refuel now. Hi, ma'am. What can I do for you? Hi, I'd like to buy 20 liters of fuel for my grass cutter. I brought my own container. Can you help me fill it up? But ma'am, your plastic container is not suitable and approved for storing fuel. What? But I use this plastic container to buy fuel from other petrol stations as well. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm sorry ma'am, but if you can see the safety signage, it notes that it's dangerous to fill up a container with a non-approved material with fuel. Why is it dangerous? Like I've told you, I've done it before and nothing happened. Sorry ma'am, please let me explain to you. Peeling up a non-approved plastic container with fuel can cause a static charge and fire in a flammable environment like petrol station. There have been instances of such accidents before. 
Also, fuel may be corrosive to certain plastic materials and it can melt and damage the container. Okay, I see what you mean, but I really need to buy the fuel urgently. Um, any other alternatives? We have some approved empty metal containers. You can use it to fill up your fuel safely. Okay, thank you. I'll use a metal container instead. You're welcome and thank you for your understanding. I will help you fill up now. Good morning, sir. I'm sorry, smoking is not allowed at the shell station. Could you please extinguish your cigarette? Thank you. It is very rude for you to come up to me and say this. I'm sorry, sir. Firstly, it is illegal by law. And secondly, smoking in the forecourt is very dangerous because it may cause a fire or explosion, especially when we are refueling. Okay, okay. I'm going to the shop to buy some mineral water. I'll finish the cigarette very soon. I don't think it's a problem. I'm sorry, sir. But it is really dangerous to everybody. The ignited cigarette is a potential source of ignition that could easily trigger a fire or even explosion in a flammable environment like this. In addition, smoking in petrol station is an offence by law. SCDF will impose a fine or even penalty upon a confirmed violation case. We care very much for your safety, as well as our staff and other customers. Okay, I get where you're coming from. I'll extinguish it now. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You left your engine on. Could you please switch it off so that I can continue refueling? Why don't you just carry on with it? I'm only pumping $20. It should be quick. I'm sorry, sir. But we can't do that. Because leaving your engine on might spark off a fire or even lead to an explosion in the worst case scenario. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'll go switch it off now. Thank you, sir. Hi, sir. Sorry. Could you please refuel your bike while standing by its side? I'll be quick. You only take a little while. Sorry, sir, but we are just concerned about your safety. Sitting in this position might cause you lose balance and fall. Also, it is more likely that spillage may occur and that cause a possible fire hazard that could lead to an accident. Okay, okay, okay. I get off my bike and do the refueling. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Everybody has the power to make a difference in such situation by intervening and explaining. If you ever see a situation in which intervention could help prevent any unnecessary accidents or damage, do not hesitate to do so. In doing your part to achieve goal zero, you might save your own life and someone else's.